Hello everyone. Did you know that amid the vast high plateaus of South America, where the majestic Andes Mountains rise through swirling white clouds, there's a plant that has been intertwined with humanity for over 6,000 years. A tiny seed packed with extraordinary vitality, a symbol of sustainability, ancient agricultural wisdom, and a precious source of nutrition for millions of people around the world. That's quinoa, often called the gold of the Andes. From the lands of Bolivia, Peru, and Ecuador, quinoa fields at elevations of 12,000 feet above sea level still burst with vibrant reds, purples, yellows, and whites, swaying with every gust of wind and thriving in conditions where most other crops struggle to survive, like strong winds, cold, and dry climates. Today, more than 70 countries grow and use quinoa on a large scale with mechanization. Many regions in the U.S., Canada, Europe, and Asia have successfully cultivated quinoa with high yields. However, South America remains the source of the highest quality quinoa, thanks to its unique climate and rare native varieties preserved over thousands of years, which nutritionists highly regard as a specialty crop. Quinoa is gluten-free and one of the few plants that provide a complete protein, making it extremely popular for daily human consumption. This ancient superfood has a pleasant, mild flavor and is loaded with essential vitamins and minerals. In today's video, we'll explore the journey from a tiny seed to bountiful harvests, from traditional techniques preserved through generations to modern technology that optimizes yield, quality, and economic value of quinoa. Every agricultural story starts with the seed. Farmers in the Andes Mountains select seeds from the healthiest plants, those with the best resistance to cold, drought, and frost. In new growing regions in countries like the US, New Zealand, and the UK, farmers choose the best seeds from reputable suppliers to ensure optimal germination and growth. The soil for quinoa, whether in high arid areas or mineral-rich land, is prepared meticulously. Quinoa thrives in soil rich in organic matter, with good drainage and a loamy texture. Farmers plow the soil to loosen the hard layer, remove weeds and add organic fertilizer or compost, volcanic ash, and plant mulch to increase the soil's porosity and nutrition ensuring the seedlings are healthy from the very first days. For seeds to germinate, the soil temperature should be around 60 degrees Fahrenheit. The soil is raised into beds six to eight inches high to ensure good drainage, prevent root rot, and create an ideal environment for quinoa seeds to begin their journey. A small quinoa seed, once sown in the soil, takes about four to five days to germinate, and thanks to soaking the seeds in nutrient-rich solutions, germination rates can reach 90 to 95% an ideal figure to guarantee a bountiful harvest right from the start. Planting quinoa is not just a technical operation, but an art. Seeds are sown evenly on the beds, 
with plants spaced about 12 inches apart between rows and 20 to 24 inches along each row. Modern seeding machines can plant 25 to 37 acres per hour, ensuring uniform plant density and reducing seed waste. Meanwhile, small farms still maintain the tradition of hand sowing, carefully observing each seed to ensure quality from the beginning. After about a week, green sprouts emerge from the soil, signaling a promising harvest, and from here, farmers enter the critical care phase that determines yield. During this stage, it's essential to keep the soil consistently moist from seeding until the plants are well established. Quinoa seedlings are very delicate and cannot withstand frost exposure. That's why farmers always wait until the last frost has passed before sowing. Although mature quinoa plants are considered relatively drought tolerant, regular watering is still important. Modern irrigation systems are implemented, saving 70 to 80% of water compared to traditional farming methods, while maintaining ideal moisture levels for the roots. Quinoa is considered a crop that thrives in cool climates and reaches its full potential in cold, dry environments. It stunts when exposed to consistently high temperatures. Daytime highs for quinoa should be around 60 to 70 degrees Fahrenheit and nighttime lows around 40 to 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Based on soil analysis, farmers can add potassium, phosphorus, and organic fertilizers, combined with pest and weed control, especially aphids and leaf mold, to keep plants healthy without overusing chemicals. About three to four months after sowing, the plants reach about three to five feet tall, with lush green leaves and small flowers appear in shades from white to pale purple, marking the grain formation stage. Those modest little flowers, though unassuming, each promise nutrient-rich quinoa grains, soon to form and ripen under the brilliant golden sunshine. Growing quinoa isn't difficult. It's a hardy plant that prefers temperatures above freezing and below 90 degrees Fahrenheit, making it ideal for spring planting and fall harvesting. But how do you know when quinoa is ready to harvest? Just look at the plant to tell how close it is to maturity. The leaves will turn yellow and red before falling off. The seeds will become so hard that squeezing them between your fingernails leaves no impression. That's the sign your quinoa is ready to harvest. In traditional growing areas, farmers cut bunches by hand to avoid seed loss, preserving the value and quality of the product. Then, it's dried and seeds are separated from the clusters by hand. Meanwhile, at large-scale farms, Specialized harvesters with loss rates under 5% are used, achieving average yields of 2 to 4 metric tons per hectare, allowing quick completion while maintaining quality. The ripe quinoa seeds glisten under the sunlight, and from here, they enter a refined processing stage to become a superfood. When quinoa arrives at the processing plant, 
It's assigned a lot code to trace the product from start to finish. Raw quinoa seeds are brought into the factory and undergo initial sorting to remove sticks, stones, gravel, and other foreign materials larger than the seeds. This step is crucial to prevent damage to machinery in later stages and ensure food safety, as heavy contaminants could mix in if not removed early. The next stage in the process is removing saponin, a plant extract with a bitter taste that coats and protects quinoa seeds from pests, birds, and other animals during growth, but makes the seeds bitter if not removed. Quinoa seeds are soaked and washed in cold water, using rotating washers or strong water flows to remove dirt, saponin, and any remaining contaminants. You've done enough to remove the saponin when the water runs clear and free of foam. Since saponin has an unpleasant flavor, for extra safety, you can run water over the seeds longer to ensure it's all gone. This step makes quinoa edible without bitterness. After washing and rinsing with no saponin left in the seeds, the wet quinoa is put into a spin dryer, a centrifugal dryer. The seeds spin at high speed in a mesh drum, forcing excess water out through the vents. This step removes about 70 to 80% of the surface water, helping quinoa dry faster and reducing drying time afterward. It prevents mold and preserves the seed shape. The next step is to fully dry the quinoa after spinning. Dryers use hot air typically at 104 to 140 degrees Fahrenheit or drying ovens to remove remaining moisture, bringing it down to under 12% for long-term storage. Belt dryers or rotary ovens can be used. This step prevents bacteria, preserves nutrition, and makes quinoa crisp, ready for packaging later. After the quinoa is dry, it goes through several processes to sort the seeds by size, color, and double-check that there's no foreign material in the final product before airtight packaging for long-term preservation. The optical sorter is a very smart machine. Basically, what it's doing is looking at all the quinoa seeds as they pass in front of a series of cameras. So, every time it sees a small, perhaps dark-colored quinoa seed or a dark weed seed, it blasts it out with a puff of air. It works precisely to produce a very uniform and attractive product. The polishing machine gently rubs the seeds together to remove any bacteria or dirt from the outer part of the seed while giving them a nice appearance. Thanks to this process, quinoa retains its crispness, bright colors, high nutritional value, meets strict market quality standards, and is ready for packaging, storage, and shipping to customers, as well as export worldwide, becoming an ingredient in salads, porridge, nutritional bars, and many other diverse dishes. And quinoa is truly a healthy food. UNESCO even calls it the perfect food for humanity because it's gluten-free and has all nine essential amino acids. NASA's astronauts eat quinoa on long space missions because this gluten-free grain is packed with fiber, protein, vitamins, and is a great substitute for animal meat. What's even more special is that quinoa isn't just a nutritious seed, but also a symbol of sustainable agriculture. It helps keep soil clean, saves water, limits chemicals, while providing stable income for millions of farmers. The blend of tradition and modern technology, from seed selection, planting, care to harvesting and processing, makes quinoa a vivid testament to global agricultural wisdom. Each quinoa seed is a story of people nature, and patience, reminding us that agriculture is not just production, but an art of living, respect, and conservation of nature.
That's all for today's video. We hope you found our video helpful. If you enjoyed this story, please give it a thumbs up, share your thoughts in the comments below, and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on inspiring videos about agriculture and the wonders of nature. Thank you for spending time with us today on this journey exploring quinoa, the gold of the Andes Highlands, and we look forward to doing it again soon. Have a great rest of your day. See you in the next episodes where we'll continue to explore the power and beauty of modern agriculture around the world.